Hi, I'm Danny with BuyTwoWayRadios.com. In this video, we're going to unbox the Black Box Base Station Desktop Radio. This dual band radio operates on UHF and VHF business frequencies with 4 watts of power in a custom compact housing. We're not going to go into a long tutorial on all the features of the radio. We're simply going to take it out of the box, turn it on, and give you a quick preview of its features. Let's open the box and take a closer look. All right, here we go. Uh, what we have here is a base station from Black Box. Um, I'm going to take a look at the box first off. Um, we kind of uh, show you some pictures of the product. This is a, a compact base station, um, four and a quarter inches square, it looks like, and an inch and a half high. Um, it shows a picture of a headset here and a speaker mic. So, um, what that's saying is regular accessories like you would use on a regular um, portable radio will plug into this. Uh, anything that has a, a Kenwood style two pin connector will plug right into this radio. Uh, push to talk button is also the loud and clear speaker. Uh, so we'll get a closer look at that later. Um, 4 watt base station 128 channels. Now uh, this has UHF and VHF built into one radio, so it's dual band. You don't have to buy a, a separate one for VHF or, or UHF, which is uncommon for a business um, product like this. It's uh, repeater capable. There's programming software for this, or you can program it directly from the keypad. Uh, one watt audio output, which is very loud. Um, PC programmable I mentioned, um, hands-free Vox use, power on message, voice prompts, audio button sounds. Uh, also here we see there's a, a, an option for wall mount, um, rubber feet. Let's open the box and see what we have here. there. It's an antenna like you would see on a um, handheld radio. And this is the base station itself. It really is compact, which I like. I think a lot of businesses will like that. Uh, it's small. Um, this is the talk button, which is going to Feel like it works pretty well. The antenna on here. You know, I'm not a fan of the way the antenna works, um, especially with the wall mount option. If you mounted this on the wall, this is going. This is probably going to cause an issue with the polarity. I would think, and, and affect reception. I kind of wish maybe they had gone with an antenna that had a, a 90 degree turn, so that if you mounted it on the wall, you could twist the antenna up. But most people are probably going to use this sitting on a desk anyway, so maybe that that wouldn't be a big deal. Um, give me just a moment to get this powered up, and we'll be right back, and and we'll power it on. Okay, we're back. Uh, I've got power connected to the radio, so I'm ready to turn it on. Um, first, I want to make sure that um, I give you guys a look at uh, all sides of this product. Um, over here on the, the right side, we have uh, the accessory port. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, standard Kenwood style accessories will work uh, with this radio. So if you already have a headset or something like that, uh, the, the, uses a Kenwood connector, you would be able to use it here. On the back is where the power connects and um, the bottom of the radio, you see there's a hole here cut out for, for um, you to hang it on the wall with a screw and uh, we have the serial number printed here. Uh, let's power this up. 
powered it up earlier off camera and the volume is extremely loud on this. The, the speaker is very impressive, I have to say. Um, I mean, just turning it halfway um, is very loud, but uh, going all the way, is, is it, it was um, very loud, I'll just say that. And clear, it wasn't distorted at all. Uh, I, think, I think the speaker is great in this thing. Um, now, I'm briefly going to walk you through some of the options of the menu. I'm not going to go through everything. Please check the manual, check our website. I'm trying to keep this video brief. So, um, this, like I mentioned earlier, is the, the push to talk button. Uh, you see on the display, you can have uh, multiple frequencies being watched at a time. So, you could put one frequency on, on the top here in the um, A area and then uh, on the bottom in the B area you could select a different frequency and switch back and forth uh, with this A B toggle. Um, the menu, menu uh, allows you to change a variety of options. You can fully program this radio from the keypad here. You can enter a frequency directly, you can program a channel. It's not the most intuitive programming a channel directly from the keypad. In fact, I would suggest you use uh, the programming software um, if you want to do that, or we can program it for you. But uh, there's a lot of capabilities and features built into this base station. A lot of businesses at a, a $240 um, suggested retail price on this, a lot of businesses are, are going to jump on that, I believe, because usually a, a business base station um, is considerably more expensive. So what is um, available here in a small package is going to be um, really impressive, I think, to a lot of businesses. This has been an unboxing of the base station dual band UHF VHF desktop radio from Black Box. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call, email us, or enter our live chat at buy2wayradios.com. If you like this video and want to see others like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash buy2wayradios. I'm Danny, and thanks for watching.